Man, for Ravens news, I feel like when it rains, it pours and it gets nonstop. I feel like I just saw you guys a couple minutes ago. Anyway, YouTube, team keep it clean. Um, there was something going around saying that uh, it's reported that Bobby Wagner, he wants a one year, $11 million deal. And you know what? I, I wouldn't be mad at Bobby Wagner for being the one that's pushing that. Why not try to get as much money as you can for one year? Because it's no long-term commitment. You already done made a lot of bread. That would be a significant amount of money for one year. And then if you show these people like, hey, I still got it. I can play, which we know you can. Then you get to cash out even more the following season. Um, and he is his own agent, which is something that I forget about a lot of times. So with a lot of these reports that go out, it could be him pushing out these reports because he gets to control his own narrative. Well, that's unless these teams, they push something out to any other teams that they know are interested in him. But anyway, um, so apparently that's why he has not been signed to the Rams yet, because he apparently wants an $11 million deal. And the Rams are like, Ooh, I don't know about that. But then the Ravens, the Ravens, um, Jacina Anderson, she not only reported that the Ravens offered Bobby Wagner a contract, but let's, let's just read the report verbatim word for word. She said, I'm told the Ravens feel they have a very competitive offer to Bobby Wagner in comparison, uh, check the in comparison to the Rams. Now with that part. I was shocked um, when they, first I was shocked at the deal that they gave Marcus Williams. Like, it took me back to the Earl Thomas days when they first signed him and just how large of a contract it was for an outside free agent. I was like, wow, with Earl Thomas, I was like, I, I couldn't believe it. And, and then 35 mil guaranteed on top of that, I was like, what? Who are these Ravens shelling out this kind of money to an outside guy? They don't do this type of stuff on a regular. So then the Ravens, they went and, and a couple years later, three years later, they do the same thing again, but even more. And I was like, whoa, whoa. But then what really got me was the report that came out that these Baltimore Ravens that we know, that y'all know, that all of us are very familiar with, that they actually outbid the Philadelphia Eagles when it came to Marcus Williams' services. And was like, what? So this, this right here, where she says they have a very competitive offer to Bobby Wagner in comparison to the Rams. So this sounds like another potential outbidding now uh even though that part surprises me a bit i think the part that nobody is surprised about is that the ravens they are willing to do a little outbidding when it comes to defense just a little nugget they had to throw in there but anyway let's read the rest of the report it says the focus of the wagner pitch was his addition to an already stacked defense and his ability to add to his legacy with the balance of Baltimore's team per league sources. Now, I ain't trying to do any shameless plugs or anything like that, but please, here in this report, shout out to my guy Rodell. Rodell, I hope you're watching this. He sent a, a, a very fun, a very different kind of question from subscriber in a video that we did yesterday. The one talking about um, titled, if the Ravens would really draft a wide receiver early. And his question, he said, if you, if you were an agent, if you were an agent and you had to pitch a player on joining the Baltimore Ravens, how would you go about that? Where would you take that player to eat? What would be one of the things that you would tell him is great about the Ravens? What would you tell him is bad about the Ravens? How would you really pitch to that free agent player? And one of the things that I said with the Ravens, as far as a defensive player, is that the Ravens could pitch that defensive player on legacy. Like say, hey, you know Ray Lewis? You know, Ed Reed, Terrell Suggs, Lodi, not like Ravens have had so many great defensive players. Ravens are a team that's been built on defense, even though I still feel like the, the philosophy needs some updating and some upgrading. Um, that's how they could sell 
for a defensive player. It'd be much easier for a Ravens team to sell a defensive player than it would be for an offensive player. Because Ravens still got uh, quite a bit of tweaking to do on offense. And hopefully they will do that. But I think for the Ravens, as far as, especially with free agents, actions are going to have to speak a whole lot louder than words. Now, last season, the actions, they were speaking pretty loud when it came to the passing game. But again, let's see what happens when Ravens have a healthy roster. If they're still going to have this heavy dose of the passing game or if they're still going to be run, that's to be determined. But anyway, back to this. When Josina Anderson said that, that he, he, the, the focus of the Wagner pitch was his addition to an already stacked defense and his ability to add to his legacy with the balance of Baltimore's team. I was like, man, we were literally just talking about this in the video yesterday. We were just talking about that. And then this comes out. We were just talking about Patrick McCarry being the starting center for the Ravens. That seeming like that's their plan. Then a couple of days later, John Harbaugh, he comes out and says it. Coincidence? Who knows? Uh, but anyway, the Ravens, with them, have they obviously got some significant interest in one Bobby Wagner. <laughs> obviously. I mean, I can understand why. He would definitely make the Ravens that much better. Um, and he would really, and, and I said earlier in the video today, when we covered John Harbaugh, his presser, I said that the, when he spoke openly, he ain't, I mean, it wasn't super open, but the fact that he spoke about Bobby Wagner the way that he did and said that, oh, I, I, can't, I can't say that we haven't been speaking to him or we haven't been talking to him. When, when, with him saying that, you, they don't usually do that. That's why, I, again, I'm not trying to get anybody hyped up, man. I ain't trying to get nobody overly hyped or overly excited or anything. But that's why I said in that video, which was like an hour and change ago, Maybe by the time you see this, it'll be like two hours. Who knows? But that's why I said in that video that I feel like the Ravens are going to get it done with Bobby Wagner. Because John Harbaugh, open, they don't openly speak about no guy that they had in for a visit. Like, they don't do that, man. They don't do that. Even if they're asked directly, oh, well, so we heard about reports about Bobby Wagner coming into town. Oh, what's that about? They would normally say, oh, we just... We, we look at everybody. We look at any kind of way that we can update our roster, upgrade our roster. We look at every single position and see ways that we can get better. That's something that they would normally say. They don't normally just say, oh, hey, hey, we can't say we are talking to Bobby Wagner. No, we're not. No, they don't do that. So I think something with Bobby Wagner gets done. I know I did see a lot of people in the comment section think that, um, say that they think that uh, with Bobby Wagner, it could be one of those Jadavian Clowney type situations to where he waits. You <laughs> know? <laughs> Y'all know I love Jadavian Clowney. Y'all y'all know that, man. I, I am a uh, very big fan of Jadavian Clowney. I have wanted him on the Ravens for a very long time. Very long time. Hasn't happened. Probably won't happen. But I have still wanted it to happen. But one thing with Jadavian Clowney, he takes his time. You are not about to rush Jadavian Clowney for nothing. Nothing. I can imagine. I, I wonder how it is like when his family like goes out to dinner with him. Like his family probably, they probably eat their meals and stuff. They probably order dessert and whatever. And Jadavian Clowney probably will still be on the appetizer. Sitting there taking his time, eating little pieces of calamari half by half. Not even one by one, half by half. Because he takes his time. But that's what a lot of people think this whole Bobby Wagner thing could be. Could be him just, just pacing it. Going at his own pace. Going at his own speed. Taking his time. Being his own agent. Sounds familiar, right? Shout out to Lamar Jackson, going at his own speed, taking his own time, being his own agent. And the Ravens, of course, being interested in signing him as well. So patience, patience is what it's going to take. Patience is what it's going to be. Uh, and patience is that's that's the result of this whole thing. It's patience. And that's it. Um, Bobby Wagner, whenever he does make his decision. Um, is that's gonna be when he makes his decision, whether it's the Ravens, whether it's the Rams. I do again. I, I do think that it's gonna be the Ravens. Um, and that's that. It ain't no bias or nothing, as y'all already know. Because initially, like when it was reported that he was first visiting with the Rams, I was like, oh yeah, done deal. It's finished. <laughs> that's a wrap. Because Rams get what they want. If they want somebody, they get them. But if if there's a, a an, an impasse. When it comes to the contract, um, 
that could be a uh, a big holdup. And again, if they if they get the right person in that room talking to Bobby Wagner, or they get the right person on Facetime since they in Florida and Bobby Wagner is wherever Bobby Wagner is, they get the right person speaking to him. They like you can like Rams Rams could sell them easy too. They could say like, look, we just came from winning the Super Bowl, and what you you think we about to stop? You, oh, you think we about to take a break this year? <laughs> Forget them draft picks. We ain't worried about them draft picks. Like, no, we are still trying to win now, as you already know. We just re-signed uh, Matt Stafford to his deal. We still got Cooper Cup. We trying to get Odell Beckham Jr. back. We got Aaron Donald. I mean, hey, we still got Jalen Ramsey, of course. We doing a little bit of retooling here and there. But we still we just signed Allen Robinson. So <laughs> we still going to be in this thing. So don't think we going anywhere. So and you know what we're capable of. You know what we can do. We, you know how we get down. So if you want to come through, hey, you're more than welcome. Ram, Rams can sell them easy. Easy on that. Like, man, like, oh, oh, you're like, y'all are going all in. Yo, y'all going to go all in this year too? Oh, yeah. I'm with it. Easy sale. But for Ravens, they, they got to use their legacy. They got to use what it's been, what, what's, what they're known for with, in Baltimore. And that's, of course, defense. That's defense. Um, and they, I, I, I could see them offering more money. And that's so, oof, that's so weird to say about the Ravens. But, again, it's a defensive player, so you already know what time it is. But it's so weird to hear, to say that, the, 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 to hear yourself saying that. I could see, the, let, let me, wait a minute. I, I, I got to pull up a camera to actually look at myself, actually say this. Oh, well, I could look at this camera, but I got to look at the camera on my phone. I could see the Ravens actually offering more money to a free agent than another team. Wow, that's, that's crazy. Let me run it back. I could actually see the Ravens offering more money to a free agent than another team. It's just, it, it's, it's so crazy to like, to say that out loud. Y'all do the exercise at home too. Record yourself because it's real. That's wild, man. That's wild. Because we, we're not used to that. But, hey, maybe this is the start of these new, new Ravens. Shout out to ATL. But we see how this thing goes. We on Bobby Wagner watch still. Remember? I don't know if y'all remember a couple years ago. Uh, well, for those that were here, uh, of course. When we was on Jadavian Clowney watch. Cause, and it was always something. Every day with Jadavian Clowney. It was always something. Um, but with Bobby Wagner, we're going to see. Because, again, Jadavian Clowney had an agent. So this agent, he could put different stuff out there to keep people's wheels turning on his, on his client and whatnot. But Bobby Wagner, again, he's his own agent, so he controls that narrative more. So the news with Bobby Wagner has been, it's been slow and steady. Slow and steady. So we'll see if that ends up winning the race uh, for these Baltimore Ravens. I love y'all so much, team. Keep it clean. I always appreciate you all listening and being willing to listen and come through and just really have a good time, man. Cuz we we just we just here having a good time. I don't take none of this stuff too serious. We ha we have our talks, our disagreements, our agreements, our, our think pieces all that. We 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 talk about all that, all kind of stuff with the Ravens and just NFL in general. But it's just all in fun. We're having a good time, man. I hope y'all are having a good time, too. Team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. We out.